There have been a lot of changes in the fall garden in the last two weeks. However, the Malamar spinach is still growing strong and is looking great on this arch. Very ornamental. The blackberries in here are doing well and have had another growth spurt. The mint also is doing well down at the base. And the blackberries are now growing up over the covered arch. One of the biggest changes is I've removed the six raised garden beds that my wife had inside of here. And we're going to be replacing that with one four foot wide, 28 foot long mid ladder grow box. It'll be much easier for her to maintain, much easier to water. We'll be able to cover the whole thing during winter so we can grow all the way through winter. It's just a lot smarter way to garden. There'll be less work and more production. All of the cantaloupe have been removed and we've enjoyed eating the cantaloupe from this converted raised bed. Here's all the lumber that I'm going to be putting on Craigslist to get rid of. It's several hundred dollars worth of lumber, but I am just too tired to deal with it any longer. Some very nice treated 4x4 lumber for somebody who wants to build a retaining wall or a raised garden bed. We're not going to be using it because as we took it apart, I noticed that between each layer, there were termites living inside and the wood was already deteriorating. Here's all the new fresh lumber that we're going to be using to build my wife's Midlatic grow box. It's in here in the garage and laid out on sawhorses because we're going to be painting it. Even though this is treated lumber, we want it to last as long as possible. We'll be treating the T-frames 24 inches because those will be going into the soil. And then we'll also be treating the 2x8s and all six sides. And anything that touches the soil will be painted. I saw my very first and only sweet potato blossom the other day, so we are no longer feeding the sweet potatoes. I anticipate harvesting them by the 1st of December, and so there's no need to continue to give them fertilizer. They'll just go ahead and use up the fertilizer that's in the soil. Another big change is I've removed all of the tomato plants that I grew in spring and just have the clones up here. They're doing quite well, and as you can see, we've got fruit set on several of the plants already. The carrots are looking great. Here's the first planting and then the second planting is looking excellent. So looking forward to those. I try to plant different varieties of plants to see which ones I do and don't like. I've decided that I do not like this kind of limpy lettuce because it just kind of falls all over the place. And it's very difficult to work with. So I'm not going to be planting again coastal star lettuce or I can't even pronounce this. It's a type of romaine. But I do like this variety of romaine and this outrageous red lettuce. It has a nice firm stalk. As you can see, we've already been eating it and enjoying that lettuce. We were out this morning harvesting green beans from the bush beans and munching them as we were harvesting. They're great. I'm excited to see the first butternut squash on here. It's growing very well. I've got another one on this plant and another squash coming on down the row. And here's an acorn squash coming on over here. A week ago, these plants didn't look anything like this. They had a very kind of creamy white co uh, color to all of these squash plants. I went through the Garden Doctor three book set, which covers all kinds of nutrition deficiencies. I found what I thought was the, was the problem. I treated it with magnesium sulfate, and within 12 hours, I could see the difference. Looks like we got a bug here in the garden. I'll be treating here shortly to take care of the bugs. Once I see one bug, I spray. I don't wait to see two. This one, however, I'm gonna kill by hand right now. A couple days ago, I harvested my first cucumber from my fall garden. I was very excited to see that. And we were harvesting green beans from the pole beans this morning too. As you can see, I had some nutrient deficiencies that I wasn't tracking, but I applied the appropriate nutri nutrients this morning. I referred back to the Garden Doctor three volume book set to de de determine what the problem was. There'll be a link below this video if you're interested in more information on that book set. It's incredibly useful in the garden. The broccoli seedlings are doing wonderfully well. They have more than doubled in size in the last couple weeks and I'm excited for the growth. The same goes for the snow crown cauliflower. They look excellent. One thing I've learned in gardening is never to plant one or two plants of a variety but to plant at least three plants because even though these were all about the same size going into the ground, you can see some are doing better than others. For some reason, this one hasn't really taken off compared to these other plants. So don't base the success 
of a plant variety if you only have one or two plants in the ground. Put three or more plants in and it'll give you a better sampling of how well that plant grows. Because we want to be staggering the harvest of our plants, I also planted seeds. And I'm very excited because they all have come up ahead of schedule. They're doing great in the Midlighter 75% sawdust and sand mix. Since these seeds have come up, I've been watering with a constant feed and they're doing really well. And I just added three spaghetti squash seeds that I planted Saturday. And I'm watering that with just straight water until they germinate. The stonehead cabbage is all looking really good. P this pumpkin may or may not produce. It's kind of late in the season and it doesn't look like it grows well in this particular climate. But we'll see what we can do with that. Here we have two different varieties of zucchini. Again, another advantage to planting more than one variety, you can see the difference in the color and the health of these two plants that were planted the same day, side by side, by seed. This here is a golden bush zucchini, and this is a cococella bush zucchini. Every morning I come out and turn leaves and look at the plants and make sure I don't see any vine borer on them. We did see a vine borer moth yesterday, and she got away from us, so we know that they're around, so we are anticipating possible vine borers again. As soon as we find damage from one, we continue to look until we find the borer, that we remove it and kill it. And I've got some great looking zucchini coming on right now. The bell peppers keep producing and producing and producing. They just won't stop. At some point, I will remove them and rework the soil and get another crop in. But I've been very happy with the production, although I am going to be planting the King Arthur variety of bell peppers next year. I removed about another 20 pomegranates from this pomegranate tree again and it just keeps on putting out pomegranates. They're growing very well. I'm excited to be able to harvest those here in another month or so. There you go, a quick update on my fall garden. I'm waiting for the replacement strawberries to come in. If they don't come in quickly, I'm gonna order from a different source and get those in the ground because I want them growing all the way through the winter so we can have a great harvest in the spring. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you're new to the Midlander Gardening Method, please look below for additional information on how to use this highly productive gardening method. And regardless of what kind of gardening you use, I highly recommend you take a look at the Garden Doctor 3 volume set to help you diagnose nutrient deficiencies in your garden.